Hello, it's Sally here at Dotty B. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be working on um, my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery um, rolled needle case or Huswif or rolled sewing kit. Um, it's I think it's project three um, of this year. And um, so I've just been, first of all, gathering lots of um, fabrics that I'd like to use or fabrics that kind of I like and could possibly use. I've got um, some ticking. I've got some florals. Um, so yeah, yeah. So got my fabrics sorted out. Well, I haven't got my fabrics sorted out really because I've got, I've picked them out, but I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Um, I have um, had a look through Pinterest and um just had a look see what um what's involved and um and how they're made up and everything um it's like falling down a rabbit hole really there's so many different variations and whatnot all kind of of the same theme but then you know you get little bits of different bits and bobs that that can go onto your roll so i've had a look and um i have drawn out what i'm going to do so that's kind of it's going to go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a curved top and then I'm going to have some, I think, felt here um, for a needle case. So maybe two two um, leaves of the book, like a needle book, um, a pocket. Then I'm going to have a, um, what I'm going to do, this is a button here. So I'm going to have a button and then I'm going to have um, something like, let me just see for example okay there's a piece of ribbon I, i'm not going to have this but kind of a piece of ribbon uh, so that i can have a um have a couple of thread not this one it's probably a bit too big but uh, obviously a thin piece of thread not thread sorry um ribbon or something this is probably not that it's not the right one and it's not the right reel either but i just thought i'll probably have to put something to kind of feed it through so so anyway what will happen is the the rolls <coughs> will be attached and you can undo them because they'll have a button there this this side will be this side will be attached and then there'll be a button this side and then you can put your rolls on a couple of rolls of thread so I that would be where the, the thread holder is then another pocket and then I'm going to have a go at a pin cushion and then another pocket and my last pocket is going to be um, ruched or I'm going to maybe use elasticated maybe at the top um, and then some little ruching at the bottom possibly that's what I'm thinking anyway so that's kind of if you look at it this way this is kind of my drawing of what I'm going to do um i've had a quick i've never really made a pin cushion um i've had a look and i know some people will use um crushed walnuts shells um, i'm not i'm just going to stuff mine with some wadding um i don't i don't want it too heavy or anything and i just i'm going to stick to basics on this one because i've not done one before so um i'm kind of adding everything that i need into this roll but not trying not to make it too complicated so that that's my idea anyway that i that I'm going to do, I think, hopefully. So that's that. Um, just drawn that out as a little guide, and I have cut out my felt. So um, I've got fabric everywhere. Let me just move that out of the way. Right. So my roll is going to be. I think this is sixty. Um, twelve. No, this is eighteen inches by seven inches. So I've I've gone for a fairly wide size and long well hopefully it's not too long i mean i don't know i think that will be fine we'll see it's going to be um something where i can um keep everything that i need and also pop in a po project so that's why i've done the um ruched pocket at the bottom so it's got a little bit more give and i'll be able to put a, a kind of little project in there roll it up take it with me so um that's kind of what i'm thinking at the moment so cut out my felt this is just a piece of felt that I'm using as um, my base and then I'm going to cover one side which will be the back um, and then the other side will have my pockets and everything in um, what else was I going to say uh, oh yes I'm going to have a rounded edge on one side of 
on one end of my roll. So I'm just going to double it over and with a pencil, hopefully this will show through. Kind of just do that and then cut it. Let's see how that goes. And some scissors. Okay, scissors. So hopefully. Okay, that's not good. Is that about right? I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. And that's where my needle book is going to go. In there somewhere. Yeah. There, like that. Right, so what I'm going to do first is sort out my back. Um, and I have got lots of fabrics. I... Um, that one it's a pretty one i like that but i don't know whether it's too bright with all my others i've got that stripy one as well it's a newish one that i've got and then i've got these beautiful fabrics here i've got that one that one i'm not sure what they're kind of sanderson ish I, well this one is i don't know i don't know what they are but um, that one is a liberty i got i got these last week um i've had a bit of a of a horrible week hence why i've not been filming because i've just been completely inundated with work and my mum and lots of problems involved in both so i've kind of been a bit quiet at the moment because of all that so i'm kind of I thought to cheer myself up <laughs> I, bought that load. I went and bought a load of fabric off ebay so um that's got pansies in that's sweet isn't it so yeah Got lots to choose from all this new fabric although this one here made me laugh let me just show you this one it's gorgeous it is cotton um but it was sold to me as sanderson and thought I'd, I'd liked it anyway but i've just had a look at the um i don't know whether you can see this or not i've had a look at the little um the strip that goes down the edges of um the fabrics and i thought well, that looks strange is it kind of like i don't know whether you can see it or not sand EP Sun, and there's kind of like a little dot. And I thought, well, that doesn't actually say Sanderson, that says Sandep Sun. I don't know what's happening. And I thought, well, that isn't very clear either. It's not a very good, for Sanderson, you'd expect the colours to be in the circles and everything, and the quality isn't quite there. So I think it's kind of like a copy, maybe, because that says Sandep, but it's not just the misprint, that says Sandep as well. So we've got some Sandep Sun fabric here it's very nice <laughs> but um it's not quite um i don't think it's quite sanderson but i do like it it's too pretty that i'm not really fussed but um I just thought it made me smile so, yes so i've got that as well anyway which i am going to use because i like it um this one here is a nice one i love this this green florally i did think should i use just a whole strip of that um instead of set you know um making different ones i don't know what to do whether to do that or not let me just um pop these ones out of the way i mean that's nice as well but it is it is only thin it's quite old this is it's got quite a lot of um, staining on it but it is quite thin i might use this inside for a pocket I think that would be better for a pocket but i like that so yes what i was thinking is should i Let's move those out of the way. Just do a whole strip of that on the outside. And then I can concentrate on the inside as my pockets. I am tempted to do that because I, I love that. And if I don't use it for this, then it'll just sit around for ages. I don't know what it was from. It's got a little bit of a overlock there in a seam. I don't know quite what it was. Whether it was cut, it could have been curtains, I suppose, and they could have been joined. I'm not sure. But I do like that. 
Hmm. What I was also thinking is just about the finish, the finishing of this. Um, when I've got my pockets in, let me just do that. When I've got my pockets in, um, there'll obviously be an edge here. So what I am thinking is cutting this a little bit larger than it needs to be. And then when I've done everything, that'll be my bias, if you like, my binding that goes round and I'm going to go all the way round. I don't know how that will work um, on the curved edge. I'm hoping I can just, there must be a way. Um, yeah, there, there must be a way of doing it doing it there as well yeah there will be yeah so that's what I'm thinking right I'm going to make a decision and I'm going to say this is what I'm going to use for with my backing and I'm just going to use one piece for my backing yes that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to leave about an inch all the way round um I'm just thinking Somewhere. I'm going to go up there. So I'm going to cut round. Let me just see how that looks on this side. So that's what it's going to be. Yeah, perfect. Right. Let me just get it straight there. And cut. Mm -hmm. That's about right, so that will save for another day on something else. over there so that's going to be my backing isn't it lovely 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 lovely, lovely. so not there's not too much fuss on this side I might count the zip stitch it all actually count the stitch it all down I think I will actually but obviously not now. It'll be something that I do off screen if you want to see me do all the cancer stitch. So right, I'll leave that like that. I'm not going to do too much on that side for now. Okay, so we got this side um, and thought, what am I going to do first? Right, for my pincushion, right, first what I'm going to do, I, I'm kind of like, I'm going along as, I'm working this out as I'm going along. So this is all fresh thinking really. I've only just, I've just done my diagram, but I don't know how I'm going to transfer that onto here. Um, so I'm thinking out as I'm going along. So do I start from the bottom with this ruched pocket? I think I might because I have got a plan. I don't know whether it's going to work or not, um, but fingers crossed. Let's see if it does. Let's go for a fabric that I like. I'm going to either go for that one or my Sand Epson. Um, right, let's go for that one. Let's have a little pretty pocket at the bottom. Okay, let's do this. Um, so, my I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw it on here. If I draw it on here, then let's see how we go. I'm going to have a pocket about this bit. That doesn't look level. Oh, 
or not? Okay. Um, I am going to have my pocket about, if I say four inches, how does that fit in with everything else? This is going to be my biggest pocket, I think. That's four inches. Then I'm going to have my pin cushion. But let's, I tell you what, let's go from this end as well. So I'm going to have my needle book. It's not going to be massive. My needle book. What's that? That's just under two and a half inches or six centimetres. Okay. Then in here, I need two pockets. Pin cushion and thread holder. What have I got left? If I had a pocket, another four, four pocket, four inch pocket. Four, oh no, no, I can't do four inch there. Um, four inch pocket. Is that right? Four inch pocket. Then two inches for my thread holder. Four inch pocket and then the, the right. Yes, I do need two inches for that. Um, so this is it right. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry about this. Right, three three and a half inch pocket. and a half pocket two for the thread holder three and a half for the next pocket and then that gives me room for the pincushion. That doesn't even look right. What's that? That's not right. It will be when I've when I've cut everything out. Okay. Yeah. That seems good to me. So this pocket, this pocket here, we're starting with. So first of all, um, I'm going to back it and I'm going to back it up to about here because I want, I'm going to have the backing underneath the pin holder, pin cushion, pin cushion. So I am going to, and then that pocket is going to overlap a little bit. So if I cut my fabric, Seven inches. Um, does anybody else flip between inches and centimeters? Because I'm do I do it all the time. Whatever fits best. <laughs> um, right, I think. 18 centimetres by, look at this, 18 centimetres by seven inches. Like that for mixing up your measurements. Okay. So let's get an edge and this is going to be the back of this piece. So I'd like a little bit of floral, but 
it doesn't matter too much. Um, so seven inches across by 18 centimeters down. I'm, in, I'm going to cut this as well because it it does I, I can see the weave and it doesn't look that even. It's definitely a bit um, a bit on the skewish side. going to go like that so it's the back is it the right way yeah I think it is so that's the back of the pocket and also the back of the um, pin cushion because I'm going to make up the pin cushion it's going to attach but it's going to overlay that so that's the back of the pocket going to happen is when I come to finish it all off it will be like that so I don't have to worry about the edges it's going to be oh look at that yep Do you know what? I've gone and forgotten elastic. I don't even know where it is. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, but I won't show you in this one because I can't remember where I've put my elastic. And I'll be rummaging around all over the place. So, right. Okay, this fabric again. And this is going to be the front of the pocket. So I want something I want to, to be florid. I'm going to use this bit here. Um, because I want it ruched, um, I'm going to cut it larger than the width. Uh, I think I'm going to do one and a half. So was it seven inches and then a half? So ten and a half inches altogether. And then once it's ruched up, it'll go back to size. If it, does that explain? Probably not, but um so seven and a half width. No. Seven plus three and a half, ten and a half. Let me just do it on that side. Get your head in the game, Sally. And work it out properly. So ten and a half inches. Which is about there. And then it was four inches deep, wasn't it? Is that right? I lost my line. Four inches deep, but then I need a... I need a um, thing on it to encase the elastic. So I'm going to go for five inches. I'm going to put an inch on, on that. Add an inch on. So there. No, five inches. This is what you get when you reach here. Measurements up. 
right, let's see how we go with that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a channel for my elastic. I wish I knew where that elastic was. I wish I'd have got it before I started filming. Um, about an inch then I'm going to yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to somehow no I'm not um sorry I'm like I say I'm working this out as I'm doing it and I'm going to cut my elastic. Let me just get one more. I'm going to cut my elastic the same, because I don't want this puckering up. I'm going to cut my elastic the same width, which was seven inches. So my elastic is going to be seven inches. And if you imagine elastic there, and then this, that it's in here, and then what will happen is that will pucker up and I'll have tucks here, little tucks here. So that will go over, that will just be straight, but then <laughs> we'll have an elasticated top, which I should be able to pull a little bit to get my stuff in. And it's kind of going to be a little bit bigger than the other pockets. So I'll be able to put a little bit more in and it'll probably, I mean, it'll probably be a giant roll like that when I've finished or something. I don't know, but um, I've not done one of these before, so it's all trial and error, but um, you've got to go for it sometime, haven't you? So um, that's going to be that pocket. I can't do any more at the moment because I don't know where my elastic is. So let's put that to one side, but you, you get the gist, I hope. I hope you get the gist of that. It's pretty, isn't it, though? Even though it's sand on. It's not proper. Okay. The doodah. Why can't I can't remember what it's called? Pincushion. The pincushion. I need another fabric. Do you know what? I've just I've just glanced over. Um, I found that. Isn't that lovely? This was gifted to me by um a lady. Who makes curtains? I just love that gingham with florals. Shall we do a gingham one? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Or oh, I know I've got that as well. That's gorgeous. Oh, I don't know too many fabrics to choose, but I like the gingham. I think I'm going to go gingham. I like that. Right. Okay. So, um the pincushion where did my ruler go because i kind of I, what i'm going to do is it's not going to be it's going to be a long thin one uh, it's not going to be massive i mean kind of like the width of my ruler probably a tiny bit wider is that on the edge that's that's there so i can see where my pocket is and then there's another pocket coming here because i can i can just see my line so i've got a pocket here so i kind of want it in the middle of that so it's kind of there so it can't be much bigger than that. Um, and I, I think this is about an inch wide. So I'm going to do a roll. And I'm thinking I'm going to do, if I measure three inches wide, and when it's rolled up, what does three? So if I cut it there, 
And I've got to roll it up and obviously I've got to hem it a little bit. That's going to be, yeah, okay, that's what we're doing. Another decision made, let's put that over the side. So I need three by seven inches. Um, I just think it's an odd shape, this is it's just a triangular shape. So it's um, just trying to find out where, do we find measure? Right, that's three inches. <laughs> so I'm just losing that little bit of triangle. That'd be great. So three by seven, seven we said, didn't we? Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna go along can you see the line of the gingham? That's where I'm going to measure. Ah, oh, so that means then that's not three, is it? No, it's not three. Let's go down a little bit. So I'm just trying to save as much fabric as I can because I haven't got much of it and I do love it. Right, three by seven. Um, yeah, seven's fine. Because this this is going to catch under the the binding that I'm doing as well. If you know what I mean. Which one was it? Was it the but it was this one, weren't it? Yeah. That's not seven. I'm gonna go a little bit. I'm going to go just a tiny little bit longer because um, it's not quite right. It wasn't measuring right. So let's just do that. So I'll take that off. Nothing gets wasted. I will say that. Pop it into my scrap box. these little frayed bits. Okie dokie. So let's just bring that back just, just to see. So what I'm going to do is I've got wadding as well. I'm just going to pop wadding in mine. I'm not um I'm not bothered about sharpening my pins or, or whatnot. Um, Once, once I've um, done this, I'm going to turn it inside out so you won't see. It'll just be kind of like that. And then again, I will be doing the binding and it'll go over like that. So it'll kind of go up and then. Right, let's, I'll tell you what, let's um, get some thread. Thread, a needle. All my needles are already in other projects at the moment. <laughs> I need to um, pull my finger out and uh, oh, because I've been so busy and whatnot, and I've had a little bit of stressy, you know, just oh, everything's just been so stressful. I've not felt like sewing, and so I've not done any any sewing for a week, and I've really missed it, but. It was just, I don't know, just so busy and having to sort out different things. So anyway, I've not been stitching for a week and I've missed it. So <laughs> I'm probably going to be back with a vengeance and you're going to be fed up with me. Keep churning out um, all my videos, catching up really. Um, I don't know why I've done a double thread there. So it's not really all I'm doing here is um, a running stitch, and I'm just doing that because this is going to be it's going to be so down as well, so you won't see this seam at all because it will be at the back. Yeah. 
yeah before um i thought i'd start this i thought i was i've got my little um stitchery that i'm doing um with following along with um annie at um arty farty annie the color inspirations project i'm doing a little kind of like project tray i suppose or storage tray so um i think that'll be the next project that i um hop over to and film I'm going to be doing that one next getting that um, trying to finish some projects because I've got a couple on the go now and I like a couple on I like several projects on the go but I do like to know that um, they're not abandoned I don't like abandoning my projects I like to be able to finish them so um, I'll probably be several videos of finishing things now I think this is the only new project I'm doing this month just so that I can get some other ones finished. I say that now but um, it may all change. I've done a tube there I'm just thinking I've done a tube. Um, I don't know whether right let, let me <laughs> done a tube that's a bit too thin and I don't know whether I can get it turned out the right way. I could do with um, a knitting needle or something I think. I know there's a proper way of doing this. But um, Mine is the budget and scarper approach. It's doing it. It's coming through. This, this thing's telling me I've done it too thin if I'm having trouble. But I, I don't want it too big, so because um, if I'm filling up the project pocket, then it's going to be bulky anyway. So um, I just thought I'd keep this quite slim and basic. But um, nearly through. There, 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 there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that's going to go there. So what I'm going to do is I may iron that, actually. I may just give it a press over. But I don't think I'm going to stuff it yet because the reason why is because what I want to do is I want to do that and then that will go over. So that will secure that. Then I want to stuff it and then, oh, let me just think about this. And then I want to do the other side. But I do want it tied down. I mean, if it's like that, does that matter? That it's, once that's tied down, it'll be like that. Does it matter that it's free there? And does that give me any benefits of doing anything? Of put, tucking something underneath it, maybe? Hmm. If that went like that, then if I've got a little... I don't know, like um, pattern or something. If I'm following a pattern or... Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so that's something to think about anyway. So that's my um, pincushion. Remember what it's called. So that is the pincushion. Is going somewhere there. Okie dokie, that's that. Blimey, decisions are getting made. Right, so next one is a pocket, another pocket. So I need some more fabric. Um, I've got that one, which I did like. It's still not going, I think because everything's so creamy and this one's white. Not sure, I've got that one. 
which is a possibility. That one, which I like, but it just feels a bit too modern. Let's put that to one side, that one we've already used. Um, I, just trying to think, I've got that. Not sure about that. And I've got these. Print's quite big on these. Oh, it has got a Parker something or other. 1978. I like that. The, the um, print is quite big for a pocket, which is quite small. Love that. Okay, that one I think is going to be too big balloon. Not going to do that one. That one, no. I like these, but I don't know. The print's quite big. Although that's quite nice, isn't it? That little bit. On a pocket. That would be nice on a pocket, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have that, I think. But I'm going to back it. Oops, Daisy. I think I'm going to back it with this and then put that on. Is it going to make it too thick? So whatever I do, I want this red edge to show. Um, this can go... Hmm. Is that too blue? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, see, that could go over there like that, which would look great. Then, so this is going to be the back of the pocket. And then um, I've got the thread holder and it can be the back of the thread holder as well. Okay. And then it just needs to go up a little bit to this pocket, right, to, to overlap again, like I've done this one, this one's overlapping a little bit. Yep. So this one needs to be there where my line is, and then just like, that's about half an inch, isn't it? Yep, so it needs to be half an inch again. So that is, I'm going to have to go centimetres because it's not falling quite right. It's not, it's not on that either. It's... Six inches. Six inches. I need to cut. Let's pop that to one side again. A mark on. Is it like that side? That side hasn't. Ooh, so I'll do this side that we show. It's got a little pocket there where it was sewn, but um, there's nothing I can do about that. So I said six inches, didn't I? I'm going to go halfway in the middle of that green one. some of the widths off as well. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, that is level with the line that I've drawn. So... Okay, get another one over here. 
I'm just going to um, take this off. Just finger pressing it and then I've got it, there you go, I've got a guiding line just to um, go along. I'll save this because I don't want to waste any of it. There, so that's going to be the back of my pocket and also the back of the um, the reel holder, the thread holder. Um, that goes there. So I need the front of my pocket. Oh, front of my pocket. Yes, of course. Pay attention, Sally. It's just here, isn't it? And my pocket is going to... Right, okay. I've got to do a little tuck under. Um, hang on, have I done that wrong? Oh my days, what have I done? I want that red to be seen. But is it going to be seen? If I put my pocket there, that's not right, is it? Oh, okay. I'm being... I know, I know. If I turn it the other way round, it can overlap, can it? It's not gonna be seen. Well, that was a bit silly, weren't it? Because the next pocket's going to start there. So even if I put it there, the pocket will still overlap it. Um, okay, see this is what I mean, I'm, I am literally doing this as, as I'm, I'm thinking th it through as I'm doing it. It's not going to look right, but I suppose it could if it, that would look okay, wouldn't it? Just a tiny little strip. It just seems a shame to waste that red. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to kind of, my, with my pocket, I'm going to just start it a little bit in. So you've got that little stripe. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me just pop these pins back in. After all. It's always a way around things, isn't there? Okay, let's, um, let's get rid of that one over there. So my next pocket, let me pop that there, that there, is going to be, what was my pocket? I didn't write it down here, did I? Um, Okay, it's seven inches by um have I done that right? Yes, yes, what am I doing? Seven by it was three and a half, wasn't it? Oops, Daisy, sorry. Um seven by three and a half. So if I just do three and a half, no, because I've got to have a, a bit of a hem on it, haven't I? Four and a half. And this is going to be not very good to four and a half, seven. is going to be tucked under so you won't see my pencil marks. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, that's going to go under. I'm just thinking, shall I just leave that? Because it, it's got um, a finished edge already. Seems pointless putting a raw, cutting it a little bit shorter, making a raw edge. So I won't. I'm going to leave it alone. That's going to go there. And then I've got to just do a little bit of a hem on that one. So I'm just going to tuck it over once, twice. Okay. And that's my next pocket. Nice little pocket. And then when it will, it will all get joined again like that. So it'll have a little thing on there. So that's lovely like that. And I'm just going to move it. To, I've just moved it a tiny bit. Just so that you can see that stripe and the red. Okay, so that's that one. Um, then, that doesn't look right. Doesn't look the right length, does it? It's a bit wonky. Okay. Um, so, here, I wanted, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, a real holder. I, you see, this, this is my favourite thread and I was I was thinking this, if I, in all honesty, but it just looks too bulky there, doesn't it? And the only other things, it's the same width, it's the same dimension actually. So it was kind of like that, and so I could put a couple of sewing things in there. Um. Hmm. So let's just bring over the bulky thing over that. That's how it's going. To, yeah. It's, well, I suppose it's not too bad. Yep. So that's the next one. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do there yet. I'm going to put a button and then this side, whatever's there, like I said, with, if it was, I'm not using this, but kind of if I was doing that, that, that would all be anchored. That would be anchored down there. And then I'd have some kind of a loop and a button and then you'd kind of feed the reels onto it. But... I haven't worked out how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm going to kind of leave that for now until I have a think about it for next time and go onto this pocket. So need another fabric. Let me just um, grab my fabrics. Oh, right, I've got some more to go through just to try and get something. I've got that, which I liked, but I think it's too pale, too pale. I've got some blue ticking, but I think that's too much. No, no, no. Oh, I know what I've got. I have got, this is some French fabric that I was, I've got. What about that? Or that. Oh, that. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Let me just... Um, nice I think they say it's actually even nicer because it's got oh look at that there you go it's really faded and mm, I like that see I've got some nope nope I've got that as well oh, look at this hang on oh <laughs> Is that too much or not? What's what? Because look how it goes with that. Sorry, you, you probably, probably can't. Um, it's because it's so long. You can't see that. But the colours are the same kind of thing. That's nice, isn't it? That would just fit as well. That's a little off cut I've got left. Kind of. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's lovely. What am I doing? Hang on. Right, so that's a pocket and the backing of my needle book. No, it won't. It'll be the front of my pocket 
and I need a backing for my needle book. That's what I need to do. So I like that. That's a possibility. That's also a possibility because it's so pretty. But I'm not sure whether it's too pale. Um, too dark. I've got this as well, which is nice, but... Um, no, it doesn't go. I've got that one. Nope. I've got this as well. This is... Um, but this is like a... It's a synthetic material. I did think... Um, this has got this is like a curtain, it's got the booker on, which is what one of the um, oh, I can't remember who it was, Sarah or Rachel was doing their little pocket with one of these. I love the rose, but um, I'm not sure about the fabric, it's it'll be a nightmare to sew with because it's so slippery. Okay, oh, that would be nice. What about that? I've got two here, one I've tea stained these because they were quite bright. One's lighter, one's darker. If I had that as the backing, so that's the backing, and then I've got a needle book to put in, and then that was the front of it, front of the pocket. So let's do that. What do you think to that? Oh, it's bright, isn't it? It's just, oh, I've got that as well, it's Sanderson, which I'm going to say no to. And I've got this, which is, it's actually a tablecloth. But I, I did buy it cut up. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I feel guilty cutting things up, but isn't that gorgeous? Okay. I think, I like those, if I'm honest. I just want to get the right colour for the pot. Oh, yes, look at that. There we go. That's it. That's going to be the back in. That's going to be my pocket, my third pocket. And then I've got a needle book, a little needle book to put on, um, which I'm going to do in now. I thought I'd do it in felt and I probably will. But I have also got this old blanket, wool blanket, but it is just cream. But then I thought, should I blanket stitch in colour around it? So that's a choice I've got to still decide on, a, um, a decision I've still got to make. That's there is a decision I've still got to make. I think everything else is kind of fitting into place now. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get these all tacked down. Um, I suppose I need to work out, do I, if I'm canthus stitching, that's got to be the first thing I do, isn't it? I'm trying, I'm just trying to think of the, because I don't want it to come through onto here. So that's another thought process I need to sort out. Because um, when I attach these, I can, I can sew through just the wadding. I don't have to catch this, the backing fabric. But then I can also, I could also count the stitch like that as well. Okay, that's something that I've got to think about. I'm not sure how that works. Um, or do I just leave it as the beautiful piece of fabric? I can't see if I turn it over. As the beautiful piece of fabric that it is. Do I want to do anything to that? And just concentrate on... I knew that would happen. <laughs> Just concentrate on this instead. Decisions, decision, blah, blah, decisions. I don't know. So that that's what I'm going to do anyway. I think I've kind of got it sussed for the first steps. So needle case, pocket, thread holder, somewhere there. I might have to just shuffle up a little bit and maybe have a smaller needle holder. I'm not sure. We'll see what I have to do there. Um, pocket, pincushion, and pocket with elastic. Need to find some elastic. So there we go. That's um, oh, just before I go. Sorry, this this one's just calling to me again. Just to check, saying just check that I'm not suitable. Oh, it's, oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, sorry, I've just banged you. I, I didn't realise it was doubled over. 
just check that that's not suitable instead. No, it's not, is it? No. We've checked and it's a no. It's that one. And that. There we go. Okay, that'll do for now. That'll be doing. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, right. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. And take care. Okay, bye-bye.